manhood. The thing that every man develops that proves his bravery, courageousness, and willingness to not be afraid to step into danger at any means necessary and to lack fear in those situations. What if I were to tell you a whole entire family lineage of men represented male badassery so well? While they may not be real, the Belmont clan from Castlevania exhibit wonderful traits of masculinity. Showing no fear when slaying demons or hunting down the devil incarnate, their arch nemesis Count Dragon. Dracula. These seven broad and unstoppable men made for the ultimate family lineup. We will go over the Belmonts from the main timeline, so no spin-off characters or anything of that sort, but we will mention characters that do tie in well to some of the Belmont stories. Let's see how these men of the fictional world of gaming are so awe-inspiring and make you want to be the best man you can possibly become. is the very first Major Belmont, the founder of the clan all the way back in 1094. His beloved sweetheart Sarah was kidnapped by a ruthless vampire known as Walter Bernhard. Leon knew he had a destiny, forced to abandon his position among the Crusaders of the Church and venture out to find his lady. His closest friend Matthias Kronkvist has been gone for some time, so without anyone by his side, Leon is all alone with his biggest trial of manhood yet. Unfortunately, he finds out that Walter Bernhard curse Sarah with vampirism, meaning she will turn evil and hungry for blood. However, in what is initially heartbreaking, Sarah sacrifices herself and allows Leon to kill her. This all has to do with Leon's leather whip he has been using. In an ironic twist of fate, Sarah's tainted vampiric soul gives the whip magical powers capable of destroying vampires. Thus, the legendary whip known as the Vampire Killer is born, the signature weapon of the Belmont clan. Returning to the castle, so he defeats Walter Bernhard only to find out his friend Matthias was behind the entire plot. Matthias convinced Walter to steal Sarah as it would attract Leon to come save her. Matthias knew Leon would inevitably slay Walter, which is just what he needed. Matthias lost his wife Elizabetha suddenly a long time ago and since turned against God and longing to become an immortal vampire to purge the world to his liking. He needed Leon to purposely have the fully powered vampire killer to destroy Bernhard so Matthias Matthias could use his Crimson Stone to obtain Walter's soul, thus allowing him to become the arch-rival of the Belmont bloodline, the despicable Vlad Tepes, better known as Count Dracula for generations to come. Matthias got away, and while Leon didn't get the chance to defeat him properly, he claimed his lineage and the whip will destroy him someday, and that from this day forth, the Belmont shall hunt the knight. In 1476, 382 years after Leon established the Belmont clan, Dracula finally emerged to make his first attempt to destroy the world. In the purged land of Wallachia, Transylvania, the Pope was desperate to find a solution to this newfound evil. The Belmonts were feared because of their superhuman abilities and lived outside a main society, but now Trevor was next in line to step up to the greatest challenge of his life. Traveling far and wide throughout the region, he teamed up with Sypha Belnades, a spellcaster, Grant Dynasty, a very agile pirate, and Dracula's own son Alucard, who opposed his father's actions and wanted to help destroy him. Together, these four heroes combined their abilities and fought fearlessly and accomplished their goal with Trevor standing victorious, becoming the first Belmont to ever defeat Dracula. Three years later, 1479, while he was killed, Dracula's curse of heresy spread across the land. Trevor once again had to step in, but this time, a new protagonist would emerge in this story and destroy a new opponent. Isaac, a devil forge master, develops a scheme to resurrect Dracula. His former friend Hector, another forge master who used to study under Dracula, is thrown in the middle as Isaac wants to use him as a vessel for Dracula's resurrection. He needed Hector to be filled with hatred and vengeance, and he nearly accomplished this by having his wife Rosalie burned alive at the stake after being accused of witchcraft. Trevor attempts to halt the madness on his own, but Isaac and Hector prove to be far too powerful for even a Belmont to handle. Thus, Hector went on to complete his destiny, eventually stopping Isaac and the nearly resurrected Dracula. Trevor was nearly fatally wounded while attempting to battle Isaac, but a helpful lady named Julia heals Trevor and allows him to live to fight another day. 
1576, 100 years after Dracula's demise, Christopher would be the new Belmont to take down the Vampire Overlord. This is where the rumor began that once every century, Dracula's Dark Fortress, Castlevania, would return with the Count himself and bring hell upon Earth. Christopher was haunted by nightmares signifying Dracula's return, and he was reluctant to take on the role of a Belmont until he saw his parents' grave. He knew he had to man up and gracefully accept his destiny as a member of the clan. After fighting through four hardcore levels of death around every corner, he came face to face with the evil Count and defeated him. However, Dracula survived by turning into a bat and escaped as the castle fell down. Fifteen years later, in 1591, Christopher's son, Soleil, went through a coming-of-age ceremony to become the next major headliner of the Belmont clan. Dracula realized he could enact revenge upon Christopher by taking advantage of Soleil. Thus, the day after the ceremony, Soleil disappeared and four elemental castles rose from the ground. Christopher once more fought through the hard trials of facing Dracula's forces and even having to fight his own son under Dracula's mind control. Christopher freed Soleil and went on to battle Dracula once again. Dracula was a little more difficult to deal with this time, but Christopher slayed him and sent him back to hell. Christopher and Soleil would watch on as the castle crumbled to the ground, with the Belmont family being able to continue hunting the knight. Perhaps the most famous out of all the Belmonts, Simon came into his own in 1691, a century after Dracula was last taken out. There have been a few retellings of Simon's adventure, but all remain mostly the same. Dracula once again resurrected and brought horrors upon the land of Transylvania. Simon fought through all the death traps and horrid creatures that stood in his way. Moving through the decrepit walls of Castlevania, fending off many foes, he made it to the Dark Lord. And after seemingly killing him, Dracula turned into a second form, but it didn't help as Simon finished him off bringing peace to the world once more. Sadly, in a similar vein to Trevor, Dracula left a curse only this time upon Simon instead of the land itself. Wounds inflicted from his battle with Dracula were slowly killing him. Seven years later, in 1698, it was Simon's quest to rid himself of the curse, and in order to do so, he had to find the scattered remains of Dracula's body across Transylvania and bring them together to be burned simultaneously. This quickly resurrected him, but Simon managed to destroy Dracula once more, lifting his curse and going down in history as another heroic Belmont. Fifty years after Simon stopped Dracula's curse from ending his life, his grandson of 1748, Juste, would be next to go through his own trial to take down an evil force. This time, not Dracula himself, but a wraith that poses itself using Dracula's likeness. This creature was formed after Juste's friend Maxim came into contact with Dracula's remains. Juste and Maxim once competed for the right to be crowned the rightful owner of a vampire killer. Maxim went on a training expedition for two years with his true intent intention to resurrect Dracula by finding his remains so he could defeat him himself and gain rights to the whip. Unfortunately for him, the plan backfired and what resulted was Maxim gaining a split personality giving him an evil side. This led him to capturing their other friend Liddy, making the normal Maxim not even realize he was being controlled by Dracula's dark soul. Knowing this, Juste continues his trek through the newly revamped Castlevania and begins to gather Dracula's body parts as his grandfather did before him. His mission is successful and the Wraith is summoned, and with enough courage, Juste slays the Dracula imposter and breaks Maxim of his control and saves Liddy in the process. The castle crumbles, and the trio eventually return home with Juste living up to his ancestral title of Belmont. Young and hungry for adventure at just 19 years old, Richter of 1792 was ready for his role as a Belmont. Dracula's army brought hell upon his town, and he soon learned that four maidens, one of them being his girlfriend Annette, was captured and locked away. Richter set out on an epic quest to rescue the beautiful young women and stop Dracula. The Dark Priest Shaft sacrifices a young virgin female to resurrect the Dark Lord, and once brought back, Dracula ordered his forces to abduct the other young girls. Iris, Tara, and Innis 
innocent little Maria Renard, all hopelessly awaited a hero to come save them. As Richter ventured out into the horrific wild that was his world, he one by one rescued them, each one thanking him for his noble behavior. He happily reunited with Annette, and lucky for him, Maria, though only being 12 years old, possessed magical abilities to summon animal buddies that could dish out a lot of damage, and she happened to be a distant relative of the Belmont bloodline. She proved to be very helpful, aiding Richter all the way to Dracula. Dracula threw everything he had at Richter, but he couldn't overcome one of the most powerful Belmonts in history, and thus was easily eliminated. Flashing forward five years later in 1797, Richter has been missing for a year with Maria Renard looking for him. Alucard, the tragic son of Dracula, and the same Alucard who fought alongside Trevor back in 1476, has risen from an eternal slumber, realizing the dark work of his father has returned. Alucard stormed the castle and soon found out Richter was the lord of the place, but only because the Dark Priest Shaft placed mind control upon him while he was in a state of mental weakness. Alucard came face to face with Shaft and his father Dracula, killing them both off and saving Richter and Maria in the process. <laughs> And now we come to possibly the most powerful Belmont of them all. Julius' story picks up 202 years after where Richter left off in 1999. Nostradamus predicted Dracula's return, but he didn't know at the time he was to be revived only to be destroyed once and for all. Dracula went on a full-scale war against the entire planet known as the Demon Castle War or the Battle of 1999. Julius Belmont, who ironically much like Richter was only 19 at the time, put together a team to unite and storm the castle and find a way to permanently end Dracula so he can never be summoned again. John Morris of the Morris clan was handed the vampire killer being passed by Richter and other Belmonts. During World War I in 1917, John, alongside his friend Eric Lacard, went on a mission to stop Dracula. Years later, they both passed away, and for John, it was a result of using the vampire killer whip. Being that he wasn't a true Belmont, he wasn't necessarily meant to be wielding its great holy power. Thus, it unfortunately killed him over time. In in 1944, his son Jonathan Morris and his friend Charlotte Allen were thrust into a tale of stopping Dracula in a newly revamped Castlevania, where portraits of ruin acted as portals to other worlds. It was here they met a ghostly man named Wind, the spirit of Eric, who informed them that the vampire killer couldn't be touched by another Belmont until 1999. Jonathan and Charlotte found the daughters of Eric, Stella, and Loretta and saw they were turned into vampires. Once cured, the sisters helped the duo understand the power of the Vampire Killer. Jonathan was brought to a realm to fight the memory of Richter, the most recent Belmont to hold the weapon. As this Richter memory was defeated, Jonathan unlocked the full power of the whip. Flashing forward five and a half decades later, Julius and many accomplices found a way to seal Dracula and Castlevania inside of an eclipse to cut off his power forever. They came up with the idea to seal away the Vampire Killer somewhere inside the castle in the midst of a solar eclipse. By doing this, it would weaken Dracula's power Power to make him more vulnerable. Once done, a priest of Japan's Hakuba Shrine performed a ritual that would fully capture him and the castle within the eclipse removing him from his power source. This source, known as Chaos, was the link between the castle and Dracula and how he was able to be resurrected despite being killed over and over. Thanks to everyone's efforts, Dracula was slaughtered for good and all of the unrested souls he took could finally find peace. However, 36 years later in 2035, another eclipse would appear over Japan and the castle managed to reappear. Dracula was gone, but his spirit attempted to reincarnate itself in a young man named Soma Cruz, and because of this, he was chosen to be the next Dark Lord. Soma passed out and somehow woke up within Dracula's castle, slowly learning about the whole 1999 situation and his dark destiny. Julius, now in his mid-50s, is suffering with a little amnesia, but eventually regains his memory and helps Soma on his journey. There is a point where they fight because Julius is afraid of Soma becoming evil. Despite this, this, Soma beats Julius and continues forward. Soon they meet Graham Jones, a man who was born on the same day Dracula was destroyed, inheriting dark powers. In 2035, he believed to be Dracula's reincarnation, thus he wanted to destroy Soma to take what he believed was his rightful place. Soma and Julius took him head on, and Soma went on to destroy chaos, preventing Dracula's reincarnation. In 2036, a cult group attempted to bring back the Count one last time. Julius helped Soma along the way, Soma 
defeats his main enemy and everybody celebrates. In 2037, Julius would act as a teacher for Curtis Lang, a young vampire hunter who uses the Holy Whip, slightly less powerful than Julius's vampire killer. Although many others were involved, it was thanks to the bravery of Julius that Dracula was destroyed once and for all. This makes him the most significant and most powerful out of the entire Belmont clan. This brings us to the end of the Belmont story that spanned 943 years. What the Belmont clan proved was their worth as strong masculine figures in history that went up against someone that was feared by many. They had strength like a family of no other and didn't back down as they knew it was their destiny to be a man and fight for the greater good. Some may have fallen short in some small ways, but they still proved to be worthy men. As a man who at the time of this video is coming into his own, the Belmont clan and Castlevania are an absolute unit of inspiration for me and I'm sure many others out there watching. I'll see y'all in hell, Belmont Slayers! Yeah!